Hi, and welcome to Cat Run Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today I have a comic review for you guys. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. Sorry about that. But I have a comic review for you guys. So, Stitched Terror number one from Avatar. So, alright. Yes, this is a adult comic, not in a not in a, that kind of way. But yes, there's nudity, there's gore, there's violence. This is a scary, scary book. So please be mindful of that. That is your one warning right now. If you are against any of that, maybe click off, check back at a later date, what have you. Uh, so this is the POV variant. So Stitched Terror. I'm going to go through and tell you what the stitched are, because you're going to need to know that for this. The stitched are an ancient undead evil. A cursed black liquid fills the mortal shells that have had all openings sewn shut, taking their life and mummifying their body. They then respond to only one thing, the sound of rocks in a can. And that sets them on an indiscriminate killing rampage. They feel no pain. They can lose limbs, be shot, burned, and crushed. All to no avail. They will not stop until the sound that drives them ceases. So, these guys are no joke. They are unstoppable killing machines. And all it takes are the sounds of rocks against a can. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's a pretty annoying sound, I will tell you, but uh, never sent me on a killing rampage. So, as we dive on into the comic, we see a little bit of what looks like a military excursion here. I'm going to be a little mindful because this is some pretty graphic gore throughout, and um, <clears throat> basically, military's attacked you find out that, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice right now. You find out that one of the uh, members of this group is actually a part of this. She was a bit of a secret mole. And you find out that they are going to make their own stitched. So I'm going to kind of censor this part a little bit because people get upset if I don't. But yeah, they're stitching closed this man's openings. So his eyes, his nose, everything is going to be stitched if there's a hole there, with the exception of his mouth, because they're going to pour down a really gross black liquid, and then they're going to sew it shut. He's going to become a stitched. So, in Texas, two years later, we find out that there have been a number of uh, people that have gone missing. The first one being this young girl. And the sheriff, she doesn't know what to do about it. So, this ends up kind of getting close to home for her really quickly because we find out that her boyfriend's niece is one of the people that have now gone missing. And they're doing everything they can to try to figure this out. So, there's so many different things that are thrown into this. Someone is burying these small, small little speaker systems throughout the desert. And our sheriff's finding them. She's wondering why these little speakers are buried so close apart throughout the desert. Why are they there? So, um, yeah, I'm being a little, a little careful here because there, there is, there's nudity. Anywho, they find, uh, they find some of the missing individuals, and uh, they're a little late because they've been, they're, uh, they're being turned into stitched. Yeah, I'm covering it because I get in trouble if I don't. So just. Same. Anywho, a bit of a fight zoods when uh, the sheriff comes across the two individuals we met earlier that were making someone into a stitched. Apparently they were trying to kidnap a number of people and turn as many people as possible in this area into stitched. 
I still don't know why, but apparently having a whole army of stitched is a cool thing. So anyway, the sheriff gets thrown down into a dark basement, and she's kind of screwed, because she's surrounded by a bunch of stitched. And the woman up above has a metal can that I'm pretty sure, I'm going to say, has got to be filled with rocks. Because when she has a gun pulled on her and she's told to freeze, she's like, drop it now, hands on your head now, certainly, whatever you say. And she just drops the can down the stairs. And that's when the stitched go after our sheriff. So, of course, fight ensues. These stitched are no joke, not gonna lie. The uh, deputy gets an axe straight to the skull. And, uh, yeah. It's not looking good. Not looking good for anyone here. So, we do get a little bit of a history as to these two sisters that are making the stitched, how they became aware of them, and, you know, their childhoods right here. I'm not going to dive into that right now. It's a lot of reading and then a lot of very uh, gory images that I'd probably get in trouble for if I showed off. But I gotta tell you, Stitched Terror, this, this book actually scared me. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. If you are at all interested in checking out a new horror book, uh, I would highly suggest it. Also, they have a wide array of amazing variants for this. I am personally a pretty big fan of the point of view variants, but the gore variants are also pretty awesome. I think for the second issue I got the gore variant, and then for the third one I have the uh, POV variant coming for that as well, but really really gorgeous covers. So if nothing else, there's that. So I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to see where the story is going to go. I cannot wait to see how on earth you're supposed to stop a stitched I don't know how, but, you know, something's got to happen. Maybe, maybe everyone just ends up dead. I don't know. We'll find out together. So please do give me a like if you like this video. Comment below and tell me whether or not you have been reading Stitched Terror and uh, what you thought about it. Did you enjoy it like me? Also, be sure to subscribe to Cat Run Figures for more comic book related content. Or check out any of the older videos I have up for offer here on Cat Run Figures. Also, uh, you know, shameless plug, if you are at all a fan of shark movies, or Shark Week, like I am, please do check out Cinema Figures right now, my second channel, my movie review channel, where I am currently doing a countdown to Shark Week, which I call Sharkathon. So it's 27 films in 27 days. Every single day, a brand new shark movie is being explored. So, you know, just saying might find something really cool. You might find a lot of really bad movies that are just a lot of fun to watch. Because, you know, good movies, bad movies, horribly bad movies, but they all have sharks in them. Except one. And there was a bit of a rant over that one, but it's been a lot of fun. So, yeah, please do all of the above, and uh, until next time, guys, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.